As you can imagine, today is a very important day for me. One, that I have looked forward to every single day for more than 400 days. Can you imagine driving a car that never needs gas and helps the environment at the same time? Well, Nissan just hinted at making that dream a reality. We're aiming to create electric vehicles with super cool next-gen batteries by 2029. And these new batteries will change the game. Even though Nissan's been trailing behind cool electric car brands like Tesla and BYD, other companies in Japan, they're eyeing a chance to zoom past the competition with a super cool new battery. This battery is called a solid-state battery and it's supposed to be way better than the old ones. It's more powerful, cheaper, safer and charge up faster than the batteries we have now. You can finally say goodbye to those yucky liquids inside regular batteries and swapping them for solid stuff instead. And that's what a solid state battery does. It's like the next big thing for electric batteries. Lots of big car companies are racing to make their own solid state batteries. Even Volkswagen and Toyota are joining in on the fun. Toyota wants to start selling cars with these cool solid state batteries by 2027 to 28, but there are still some big challenges they need to tackle before these batteries can hit the market big time. Nissan showed a huge place near Tokyo on Tuesday, but it was mostly empty. They said they're planning to start testing a production line there by March 2025. If all goes well, they'll start making electric cars at the plant by April 2028. Once electric cars become popular, they'll be cheaper than regular cars with engines. And get this, they'll be super convenient too. You'll never have to make a trip to the gas station again, said Executive Vice President Hideyuki Sakamoto during a visit to the factory. During a tour of a new plant they're building, Nissan spilled the beans about their big plans. You might have heard of their catchy slogan, Innovation That Excites. It's Nissan. They're a Japanese car company based in Yokohama, Japan. The company sells cars under different names like Nissan, Infiniti, and Datsun. They also have special performance parts under brands like Nismo and ACH. Nissan's roots go way back, starting with the Nissan Group, which used to be Nissan Zaibatsu. Back in the early 2000s, Nissan was a big deal in places like China, Russia, and Mexico. They were even in the top 10 automakers worldwide, making a whopping $78 billion in 2022. By April 2018, they sold over 320,000 electric vehicles, making them the largest EV producer at the time. The Nissan LEAF is the second most popular electric car globally and the top choice in Nissan's electric lineup just behind the Tesla Model 3. While Tesla leads the electric car scene, especially in China and the US, Japan's traditional car makers are catching up in the electric vehicle market. Electric cars aren't actually new, even though some people think they are. The first one was made way back in 1884 by, by an English inventor named Thomas Parker. He even planned to make lots of them. And one perk of electric cars is they're quiet. You won't hear any noise from the engine inside the car. On the other hand, solid-state batteries can cost up to three times more per pound right now but they make up for it by holding three times more charge and giving you three times more battery range. What do you think about the challenges and if solid-state batteries are really going to make it big? The potential for solid-state batteries is huge, but there are some big hurdles to jump over. Some battery makers are struggling with problems like the separator and the battery cracking, and others are finding that the batteries don't hold as much energy as they hope. There's still a bunch of challenges to tackle. The big facility Nissan showed off on April 16th was mostly empty, but they say they'll start testing a production line there by March 2025, and if all goes well, they'll start making electric cars for real by April 2028. Nissan didn't share much info about some technical stuff, how much they're investing, or when they'll start making these batteries worldwide. But they did mention they'll come up with some special ingredients for the batteries, like a fancy form of lithium called metallized lithium. More and more people are choosing electric cars because they're eco-friendly. These cars don't emit any pollution, which means they help cut down on greenhouse gases and make the air cleaner for everyone. These cars are really promising. Every day, electric vehicles replace a whopping 1 million barrels of oil around the world. Plus, the batteries in electric cars can be recycled, which is great for the environment. 
it helps meet the demand for this eco-friendly way to get around. We got to explore other fuels and energy tech to keep up with how fast the industry is growing. And hey, get ready to be pumped because Nissan's solid-state battery is going to take over the whole electric car scene. So the cathode and anode store the lithium and affect how much energy the battery can hold. The more lithium it can store, the more power it has. Plus, the electrolyte plays a big role too. If the lithium ions move faster through it, the battery charges up quicker and gives out more power. Regular lithium ion batteries use a liquid as the electrolyte which helps move lithium around. But if things get too hot, the liquid can break down and even catch fire. Solid state batteries on the other hand use a solid electrolyte. It's safer because it doesn't catch fire even at high temperatures and it doesn't break down easily. Also, with regular batteries, the materials they can use are limited because of reactions with the liquid electrolyte. But with solid state batteries, there's fewer of these reactions so they can use a wider range of materials. This means they can pick cheaper cathode materials and ones that hold more energy for the anode. Solid state batteries are the future of electric cars. Do you think the same? Do share your thoughts in the comments below and also don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button before you go. We'll meet you all in the next one.